Hello, welcome back. Today we have Lico 408 valid word abbreviation. So in here is a really long uh, description, but basically the idea of this question is we will receive two string. One string is called word, and another string is abbreviation. So we can go through this example here, like the abbreviation is as 10 n. So we have S matching S. So if, whenever we see uh, numbers, we just skip 10 character in here. After skipping 10 character, and we're going to have end right here. So substitution in here will totally matching this abbreviation. Same thing here, sub 4 U 4. So that is the correct, I mean, we return true by that case. Example one here is same thing. Word is internationalization. Abbreviation is like I, and then we skip twelve character up to here, and I Z, and then four, and then last character is N. So they they will totally match, uh, exactly matching for this two word. And that case is return true. I mean, you can go through this example again um, because this doesn't match PPs after the year. And then we have LE left, but he has only have E, so it's return false. It's pretty straightforward by having two pointer in here. And whenever we see a, a number, then we just skip the first pointer by 12 in here and we just keep looping until the end of the string at the end if they both of them at the last I mean position of the string then that two word is match another little tiny um, edge case is we cannot have zero leading right here so that case um, uh, we will have to take care of that edge case and give me one second. So now I think we will just go through the example and just write the code right away. We know we have to have two pointer, eight link, sign from zero, B link, which is the second pointer, sign from zero. Like if, if either of them equal to no, Then we return false. Uh, that's one of the edge case we're gonna take care. Next one is another while loop. So while A link and B link is still within this link of word and abbreviation. Like in this case, in this case, we have to do something. So now we know the abbreviation here is the string that will contain the digit. So we have to have a condition saying character is digit. Uh, did what we're gonna check is abbreviation dot character at B link which is B position if B position is a digit then we need to capture that digit but first we have to take care of this leading zero error so if a B R dot character. I mean th that character cannot be zero. So if it is zero, then we turn false. No leading zero. So that case take care of it already. And and then we need to accumulate this uh, number here. 
So now we have five. We capture five. After five, we have another five. We'll time ten and add another five in there. So by adding this, we need to capture all this B lane position that has the character. I mean digit. While B lane less than ABBR dot lane and character dot is digit. So if the current location is a digit, then we need to add total time 10. So that will accumulate multiple digit plus abbr dot character at billing minus zero. What it means is like it, it, zero is right now, total is zero right now. Then we add zero times 10 plus five. I mean, this is the current digit right here, plus five. So now total is equal to five. Next time we see another five, we'll have totals equal to 15, 50. So we time 10 to add the zero here. After here, we have this digit to save it for another five. So we equal to zip t plus the current digit, which is five, then equal to 55. And then just keep adding and adding. After this, we will need to increase the B link by one by moving the B link to the last, next digit. After this while loop, we'll capture the whole digit, which is in the total. And what we're going to do is 8 link um, plus equal to total. Okay. So by pushing 8 link plus total, we'll, we'll kind of cancel out this purpose, like move the digit right here. This is one character digit in B link is I mean is digit. If they're not digit, then we need to check if word dot character at eight link not equal to a b b r character at b link. In that case, we turn false because they're different. Let's say if i is here and i is here. If they're different, we, we already know it's not it's not good. At that case, it will return false. If not, if they are the same, we need to move a link and b link by one step. After this, the while loop is done. The last thing we need to check is make sure 8 link and B link is the end of the string. They have to reach the end of the string in order to prove them exactly the same. So we turn 8 link equal to word dot link and B link equal to dot link. So check them if they're the same at the last step. So by that, we just need to run the test and submit it. So good. Yeah. And then it looks really good and it passed. This is pretty straightforward and then just put the them down because it's kind of complicated to understand it at the point that if this one in it happened to be one of the individual questions you might spend a lot of time by explaining asking all the edge cases, understanding these edge cases. That, that's why I don't think this is a good question in the interview, but it happened. And that's it. I will see you in the next question. Bye-bye.